Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, I'll be at Dublin Deck tonight. Excited to see some folks. Yankee Rebel tonight performing. It was going to be Whiskey Road. Uh, not anymore. Yankee Rebel is going to be there. We got giveaways, spin our wheel, got drink specials, great menu, outdoors. going to be fantastic. So... We'll see everybody out there at uh, at Dublin tonight. Uh, yesterday, Candy, because now my daughters expect me to do something with them every single yeah, day. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Because um, this is like uh, our vacation. A vacation of a vacation. That's right. My, As we know, my wife and son. Any word if, uh, if those two will ever return? No, it, it, no chance it's today. I can tell you that right now. All right. We'll see. So we're going on eight days now, Candy. Eight and days. Elijah's loving every second of it. He loves it. He doesn't have any responsibility. Of course. Wow. He, yeah, he better get his uh, butt in gear three weeks, school, you know? Yeah, I uh, hear you. If they come back. Yeah, we'll see. See what happens. He may have been enrolled in uh, school already (laughs) over there. Uh, But my uh, my daughters believe it's now our vacation as well. It's now party. So as you know, a quick recap. We've gone to Rockaway. Yes. See, see my parents have dinner with a friend. We uh, went to um, Cowfish in Hampton Bays. We had a nice meal. We went to... A uh, great Italian restaurant and walk the East Wind shops. We drove around the Hamptons looking at mansions. Leah loves to do that. Love to do that. Uh, um, we've done, you know, a lot of tennis lessons. Uh, just You went to the beach? We went to the beach on Sunday. So they've been uh, begging the girl, not begging, but they've been asking to go to the mall, the Smith Haven Mall. So yesterday got home. I said, Leah, we'll go to the mall. You just please vacuum. You got to vacuum the downstairs. So she vacuumed. We went to the mall, Candy, to the Smith Haven Mall. Now, when we first pulled in, uh, there were so many cars packed. You could hardly get a spot. I'm like, oh, my God, this mall's going to be crowded. You go to the mall with mm-hmm. hundreds of people. No, but wait. Hold on. Stop with the – you're going to bring up your, your son's wedding. You don't – hang on a second, okay? We went to the mall. We all wore masks. Half the people in the mall, I'll say, had a mask on. Only half? Uh, well, hold on. My, I was getting to this. My, uh, You go to the parking lot, and it's packed. And I'm like, oh, this, what's going on? You go into the mall, it's empty. I don't know where these people were. I don't know hmm. why all these cars were in the lot. Maybe they were in the restaurants. Maybe I don't know. But the mall was fairly empty, like a lot of space. Nobody was near you, like complete social distance. So um, we walk in. I uh, I gave the kids some money. I gave them some cash. And I sat down on a comfy chair in the middle of the mall. And I said, Leah, you stay with your sister. Do not separate. Go have some fun. Walk the mall. Go buy some stuff. Go shop. Have a good time. I sat. I, I said, I have my phone. If you need me, call me. I'm right here. And they went. And they walked the mall. They bought clothing. They bought, uh, Abigail bought um, a game for her Nintendo Wii. Love it. And um, yeah, they spent two and a half hours walking the mall. you sat in the chair. So I sat in the chair for about an hour and a half. And I was fine. I made some phone calls. I returned some emails. I did all that stuff. And then it was about five o'clock and I, I... texted Leah and I said, I'm getting hungry. I'm going to the food court. You can meet me at the food court. So I went to the food court, had a nice meal. They met me what at, the food, get at the food court. What did you get at the food court? One of these chicken Philly sandwiches. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the onions and the provolone and the yes. peppers. and Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was great. And by the way, they gave me two Oreo cookies for dessert with it. So Just just like that. Just I, because you're so cute. Well, for, for everyone. Uh, uh, and I saved that for the girls. I saved the cookies for them. And they got some uh, Wendy's. And then we went home, and we had a great time. And Leah bought a bunch of clothes, and Abby bought some clothes and a game and whatever. And they had... Lovely. They, they felt like big girls. They're getting and, along fabulously. I think of nothing else, these two have gotten a lot closer in this little vacation you're taking. Yes, they've gotten a lot closer. Yeah, I love that. Yep. And... Uh, 
At first, I was like, really, am I going to sit here and let them walk around the mall by themselves? But, Candy, as I sat there, do you know how many kids younger than them I saw walking the mall by themselves? Yeah, this is something I I never went for in my uh, raising of my two kids. Um, First of all, we went. If we went to the mall, we went shopping. I went with them or whatever. And they'd want to go to the mall to hang out. This is what kids were doing. And I'm like, "Uh, no. Right. And I know Leah and Abigail aren't going to hang out. They're going to actually shop. I know that. Right. I got it. Uh, And I sat there. And the way the Smith Haven Mall is set up, it's like a plus sign, right? So there's four rows uh, you know, the pl- those the uh, figure a plus sign. Think about a plus right. sign, right? There's four rows, and right in the center is a bunch of chairs. I sat on a couch in the, by myself. Nobody near me. It was my own solo couch chair. Um, I had my mask on the whole time, and they went shopping, and every time they came up a row, I saw them, and they went down another row, and they they, they had a good time. So I'm so happy they're getting along yeah. so well and getting so much closer. Yeah, the vacation Will- continues. The other two return. That's we don't know. Question. We this will is, find out. This is a big question around the house. Leah yeah, yesterday. They've been gone over a week. They've been. Today is day eight. Um, Leah yesterday commented. I forgot the exact wording, but she said, "Boy, isn't this nice? No screaming, no yelling. Uh, <laughs> you, Elijah's not going crazy. This is great." <laughs> You know, normally they're waiting, you know, if like if they want to go to the mall, for instance, Candy. Right, right. They have to wait three to four hours for their mother to get ready. It ta- it's a process with her. Really? To, yeah, you know, she's got to get up. She's got to use the bathroom. She's got to lay down and relax a little bit. Then she's got to get up and eat. You know, it's a. it takes a while to get her out of wow. the house. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So they are all about... Uh, the ease in which they can uh, do things, Candy. So, I see. You le- are a macho man. Yeah. Father of the century. We had a good time yesterday. and Well, I'm very happy for you. Tonight I'm taking them out to a bar, Dublin yeah. Deck. <laughs> oh, boy. By the weekend they'll be dating men in their 30s. Yes, uh-huh. this is lovely. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.